Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some more Forza Horizon 5 and in today's video I'm going to take a look at a very interesting brand new car that they've added into the game with the newest car pack, the newest DLC. Uh, yesterday I've actually taken a look at pretty much every single one of these cars, this being one of them as well. I actually managed to swap over the paint from my R34 uh, Skyline, the MNP3 paint that I ended up making for, for the thing and then I put it on the, the stage as well because you can put the front end of a Skyline on it. Um, which looks very, very sick. I will make a video specifically on this car as well in the near future, so if you um, if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Anyway, in today's video, I'm not going to be taking a look at this thing. I'm going to take a look at the Mazda AutoZam AZ1 due to the fact that I think it's super, super OP. Apparently, wait, it's not in Mazda, is it? It's in AutoZam. There it is. Boom. This is, by the way, a, a little Mazda. It's just like kind of like a sub-brand type of deal that's happened when this thing came out. Regardless, the AutoZam AZ1 is one of the newest cars that they've added with the new car pack. Like I said, yesterday I've taken a look at pretty much every single one of these cars, just lightly though, just to kind of see what we can do to them and see what's possible and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's really, really OP this thing apparently. So I have a few tunes for this thing to try out. Apparently, uh, for a drag tune made by Travis, uh, it is the second quickest car in the game. Drag car, by the way. It is the second quickest, just behind the uh, Pro Stock Camaro. For the people that don't know about the Pro Stock Camaro, obviously they've added uh, this thing into the game, which looks absolutely mental. It's a proper drag car, right? Like, we knew that this was going to be really, really fast when they added it into the game. But apparently this little AutoZab is up there as being the second fastest in the game before it used to be the diablo gtr the diablo gtr used to be the fastest and then obviously that pro stock camera came out and then the diablo was the second fastest and now apparently this is now the second fastest car second fastest drag car in the game so i want to try it out i want to see so i'm gonna go and pretty much use every single one of these tunes that uh, that i've been sent a huge shout out to dom for putting them together and sending them over and obviously to travis for making uh making them as well anyway here it is for the drag tune. 625-407-324. You have to use traction control though with it. <clears throat> to launch it properly. Mad. Absolutely mad little thing. I really need to try it now. Because it doesn't weigh anything as well. That's probably why. And it's shaped like a wedge. So I feel like it's, it's going to be really, really good aerodynamically. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fast. What the hell? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I need to turn on traction control. I need to try this out immediately. Um, wait, no. Uh, manual clutch? Do I play manual clutch? I don't even know if I play manual clutch. I'm going to just play normal manual just for now. And stick on traction control. Uh, let's go over onto Rivals, and we'll go over onto this, and the Festival Drag Strip, and this thing is... Okay, so the fastest run that I've gotten with the Pro Stock Camaro is 11 seconds, right? That's perfectly fine, it's going to be very, very fast. This making it at 11.7 seconds is mad, because I'm pretty sure that the Diablo GTR was like 11.8 or 11.9. So it's mad that this thing is now the second fastest in the game. Don't, don't worry, by the way. There's more to this car than just being a good drag car. I'm telling you now. So I'm, I'll show you guys as well afterwards. The, the extra bits and pieces for this thing. Made the change gears quicker at the start. This is my first time driving. What? How did they make it this fast? It's ridiculous. <laughs> There's 11.8 after smacking it off the limiter as well at the very beginning. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, what the hell? This is absurd. Oh my god, I think I short shifted on that one. That is crazy. 
I feel like this little car could put a lot of other cars in their place. I mean, it will because it's the second fastest track car in the game. Apparently, the only one that can't beat it is the... Or the only one that can beat it is the Pro Stock Camaro, but that's, that's like... Absolutely mental to drive. I keep smacking it off limiter. But 11 point seconds is apparently possible with this thing, so that's that's what we need to kind of try and aim for. Even though that's going to be quite difficult to do. I need to figure out when exactly I should change gears as well. What's the, the optimal point? Is it past 9k? Is it before 9k? I don't know. Oh my god, it's taken lift off. <laughs> Oh, man. I'll leave her there, though. But if you keep trying it, you'll get 11.7 with it. That's absurd, man, how fast this thing is. Maybe Minor World Clutch will probably do it as well. But there's just two other tunes that I need to try for this video, so I can't just keep going over and over and over again to try and, and get it done, because I, I don't want this video to be half an hour long. Matt, What a mad little tune. All right, next one that I want to try is a drift tune for it. Apparently, this is also a really good point drift build. And being the second best drift car in this game behind the BMW Isetta. For people that don't know, the BMW Isetta is an absolutely absurd car to drift in this game. Really difficult, by the way, to drift. But it is an, it's an absurdly good point drift build. And um, yeah, anyway. 3, 2, 7, uh, 9, 8, 2, 9, 2, 3. That's the share code for the drift tune. That's from Dom. Drift suspension, drag tire compound, all wheel drive, pretty much the, the same basic setup for um, for the old point drift builds. Oh man. I feel like it might take a bit long to. Wait, traction control needs to go off. Traction control off. Sim steering on. Because it's so small. It oh yeah. Oh my god, man. You can't just see it with this thing and it just pulls you in that direction. Yeah, it's because of a really, really small... Really small form factor of the car. Like, everything. Not, not even just it being, like, small itself, but just the distance between the front and the rear wheels. It makes it so it's super, super nimble and it changes direction very, very quickly. So that's, that's why this thing is so OP. Actually, why... I'm, should I bring it on the... I'll bring it on the mountain pass, why not? My god, man. It's so, like, nippy and it wants to do everything so quickly. I know that this is going to be a really, really difficult, especially... <laughs> especially for my first time attempting to drift with this thing. I'm going to, like, spin out a lot. Not only am I going to spin out a lot, but I feel like we're going to have to rewind a lot as well with it. Oh my god, bro. I can't, like, leave it on the handbrake or anything. I have to, like, just... Keep accelerating. Man, handbrake just makes me, like, overtake fully. Very, very strange. This is absurd, bro. How quickly this thing just slides. <laughs> oh my god, I'm whipping it in reverse entries and everything. We catch it again. Oh man, yeah. Like, getting used to the way this thing drives. This is probably the most extreme set of reverse entries I've ever done. Yeah, I would need practice with this thing. There's no way in hell that I'm going to be able to do anything with this car in terms of, like, point drifting properly. But I have tried Dom's tunes before, and they're mental to drive in terms of, like, point drifting. And he's had some, some pretty good, uh, some pretty good PBs and some pretty good records set on, on a lot of these drift zones, so... I feel like, uh, I feel like he knows what he's talking about. Oh, <laughs> look at him constantly sending it backwards in the corners. It 
picks up speed so fast. That is mad. It just makes me like seem like such a bad driver. Or it's making this guy seem really bad. Trust me, it really isn't. It's just so twitchy and active. That it's just really, really difficult to drive. But the thing is though, this is... This is what makes this a really, really good point record. The whole reason why this is really, really good is because you can send it in at ridiculous angles. You can send it in at ridiculous angles and then save it again. That's why it's able to, like, get such a serious amount of points, you know? I'm just not doing a very, very good job at demonstrating it because, again, I'm still, like, new to this car. And plus, it's completely different to like, let's say if I was driving my own like Skyline or whatever, or, or let's say even something that I've, I've built myself, something like the Lotus Avaya, right, that I've created for point drifting. It's just even different to that. It's just because it's so small, it, the, the, the small form factor of this car just absolutely changes the way you should perceive the way this thing drives. Like, it's, it's completely different to a regular car. That's why the BMW Z is so good for point drifting, because of its size. But it's completely different to to what you'd expect a regular car to be to be like, if that makes sense. Right? So it's like everything just happens so quickly, and again, everything that happens is just to the most utmost extreme, basically. Right? Like everything, you have much more angle, you accelerate much quicker, you slow down much quicker, you transition much quicker. Everything is just dialed up to like a million compared to like a normal car. So. Trying to try to figure that out in just the one run of this mountain pass is just gonna be impossible for me, so it's a ridiculously difficult uh, build to, to try and control. But if you can control it, you will be able to get some serious serious points. Again, this is the second best drift car in this game, according to Dom, behind the BMW Z because of its sheer size and what you're able to do with it. And it's, it's honestly just because of this engine, I think. I think because of this ridiculous engine that you're able to give it way over a thousand horsepower. This like weird 2J swap engine. That's available for it. That's probably why this thing is so crazy. Like, where are you going to put that in line, in line 6? That 3 liter. It's a massive, massive engine. Like, where is, does it actually go in this car? Don't get me wrong. I love it because it's fun. And it makes cars really, really interesting. If you do ridiculous and crazy engine swaps like that. But where does it go? You know? <laughs> well, yeah. Ridiculous, ridiculous car, even for drifting. Now, the last one I want to try out is a top speed tune. Um, it is one of the fastest, I think. Uh, or the fastest. It says A class top speed record. So it, I think it is the fastest A class car in this game. What's the fastest before? It was like a BMW E36, right? Yep, I was right. I wanted to look it up real quick as well, just before. Um, the top speed that I've achieved in this game, in A-Class, was with a BMW E36, and I was about 285 miles an hour. And this apparently can get 291 miles an hour in A-Class. So, let's download that tune as well, and and try it out, and uh, and see if, if it's capable of doing that speed. Well, I'm guessing it is, since Dom said it, they can. Nine three zero two zero three um four seven seven is the share code for it. He also did say try he also did say um I recommend using track control until close to the end. I'm he's on a keyboard, I think, so I don't think it's gonna be the same. I'm gonna just try play without track control. Since I'm on a controller, I think I can control it without track control. However, I am going to change it to standard steering because this thing is so twitchy when you're when you're driving it because it's so small that it's going to be pretty difficult, I think, to control. Uh, so I'm going to start just at the roundabout. I think if I start further back, I'll probably maybe have a chance of driving even faster. But I, th again, this thing will get up to speed so quickly that I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm barely accelerating. This thing already wants to spin its rear wheels. Yeah, that's the thing with these top speed builds, right? That obviously you need to have a lot of thorough control. Especially the lower class ones. 
<laughs> I can't even squeeze in through a gap, man. It's so difficult to to control where I'm pointing this thing. Okay. Nice and easy now. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I don't doubt that this thing is fast. Oh my god, bro. Well, this thing just ran past. I'm just standing at my speed. I'm not even, like, looking where I'm going. It's just ran past the E46, or E36. The E36 is 285 on the downhill section at the very, very end. This thing is doing it now. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I need, to, I need to have a lot of throttle control here. Mate, it just... Relax, Kai, relax, relax, relax. The thing is, though, it picks up speed so fast that it just... Just... Boy. It just doesn't really matter that much if I lose speed in any of these sections because it gets to, to, to a soft speed so quickly again. Let's run downhill section now. I knew that was going to happen. It's fine. Just move the Mazda out of the way and we go again. Oh no, traffic. Go between them. Horizon arcade will begin soon. 287, 288, 289, 290. Oh, it's doable, man. It's doable. 291 is 100% doable. <laughs> Hello to the other drivers whilst you wait. No, stop spinning. You have arrived. Oh my god. I'm just staring at my speedo trying to go faster and faster. The thing is, though. The thing is though, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to obviously keep it in a straight line as much as possible, but even now with this speed, the front, the, the rear wheels are still slipping from underneath me. Enjoy. You need to get out of the way. That's perfect. I need to stay in that lane. This is, this is the lane I need to stay in. The next Horizon Arcade event there it is, 291. That's mad, man. For an A-class car. I mean, I know you're not going to be doing much driving with this thing, but for, an, like, like regular driving or regular racing, but, like, if you're doing any sort of stuff like this where you're just racing your friends and stuff like that, if you're trying to pick something that's really, really fast on a highway race, <laughs> this is the fastest one. And this is the fastest one by a lot. It's, like, six miles an hour. But, yeah, if you're not comfortable driving it without traction control, I definitely recommend traction control. See, when it's, when it's like this and I'm just putting on, what, like 60% throttle, you can see that I'm kind of controlling it, right? Obviously, the, the higher I go in the revs, I, the more I accelerate, but if you try to give it, there's 100% throttle now. Look at it. It's just... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. It is crazy. Mad at the car. Seriously. Seriously mad. Alright, well that's going to be it for today's video. The Mazda AutoZam AZ1 is absolutely absurd in this game. Uh, so if you do end up getting this car pack, then try the tunes out that I've put up on the screen um, throughout this video. So, mental little thing. Absolutely mental. Try it out for yourselves and let me know what you think of it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today's video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.